I'm Darren Kennedy and fashion's my thing. I've sound quite liking the top. I'm not sure if the shorts are me. Trending is a new fashion series full of style-savvy insights and not just mine. What sets trending apart from other fashion-based TV shows we've seen before? Um, I think the biggest thing about uh, trending and what makes it very, very different and a brand new proposition for RTE as well is the fact that it's completely led, more or less, the agenda is set by the viewer and what's happening in real life. And, you know, a lot of fashion shows, and I'm listen, I do a lot of work in fashion. I love fashion. I love the different elements of it. A lot of it can be very serious and can be very po-faced. Uh, trending isn't. It's as much about having fun, having the crack. I mean, that's what I'm about. It's my approach to life. And it's kind of bringing that through in the programme. So even if you're not that interested in fashion or style, hopefully you'll still, you know, there's still elements of the show that you'll enjoy and that you'll kick back and go, well, that was a bit of fun anyway. Um, so it's really just tapping into now, actually. You know, kind of the zeitgeist. What is happening right now? What people who are into fashion style are doing? How they're doing it? Why they're doing it? And that's the whole thing. It's like you know, fashion and the fashion world. It's not about just what Anna Wintour and the people at Vogue think anymore. Your opinion, you know, is just as valid as anyone else's, and that's what we're kind of getting at. Um, now Irish men seem to be getting more and more stylish. Do you think they're kind of passing out the women and the style stakes these days? Um. Irish men are doing good, which is great. You know, I mean, there's still challenges in certain parts and places. I mean, if you go into any pub on a Saturday night, you're still going to see a few little areas that might need work. Uh, same with the women. <laughs> no one's perfect, right? Uh, I think Irish men get a bad rap. I think, you know, style-wise, the guys have really stepped up to the place um, and they want to look good. I mean, the, the day, you know, maybe 10, 15 years ago, whenever it was, where a lad who took care of himself or looked good would be like, who's your man think he is? You know, notions of himself, that's gone. And you, to a certain extent, you know, if you want to get ahead and you want to succeed and you want to kind of be your best self, you have to consider about, well, what you're putting out there in terms of a, a visual. And it goes beyond, I think, what they just wear. It goes to, you know, how you take care of yourself, uh, going to the gym, it's kind of a lifestyle, isn't it? And if you're walking in the street, what are the kind of no-nos that stand out to you the most that you'd be seeing all the time? For men or women? Both. Do you know what? I think, I think you know, style-wise, we've listen, we're setting the agenda. Irish people are setting the agenda globally now. If you look, even this morning, J.W. Anderson and Simone Rocha on Vogue's list of the most influential fashion people for the future. They're two Irish people, obviously, Simone down the road and J.W. Anderson from Derry. Um, we've got a great sensibility for aesthetics, for fabric, for material, for creating things. Um, and I think where sometimes we go a little bit wrong is we over-embellish. Um, and, you know, for ladies, that could be maybe going a little bit OTT on the, on the makeup, on the tan. And I think Irish women don't realise the fantastic assets they have, actually. Um, and we, we, you know, we have a tendency sometimes, and we all do it, to focus on the negatives in relating to our appearance. But, like, Irish women, we, you know, Irish women in general have flawless, beautiful, kind of paler skin, um, beautiful eyes, uh, gorgeous hair. And they're just kind of, you know, general traits. But we cover it so much and like women layer on so much makeup that actually, you know, the skin tone becomes unrecognisable. Um, so I think just pairing it back a little bit and fake tan, you know, I know some people like a little, a little sun kiss. Great, go for it. But, you know, maybe go for a lesson if it's not your forte. <laughs> and then for the guys, um, I think guys, I mean, some lads just look like they get dressed in the dark. Um, but it's getting better. Slowly but surely. I'm doing my bit. <laughs> and are there any kind of fashion rules, like, you know, blue and green should never be seen, never wear navy and black, or any, are there any of those myths you'd like to debunk? I don't believe in rules. Yeah. I don't believe in fashion rules. Um, I think, you know, most people have a good general sense of what works for them and what doesn't. I say go with your gut. And if your gut does kind of uh, lead you up the garden path, well then maybe step back from it a little bit. But no, I'm not about rules. I mean, one of my favorite combinations is black and uh, navy, which according to one of those rules should never go together. And with the party season just around the corner, what are your top styles tips? I think uh, less is more for party season. I don't mean that less coverage is more. I mean, less styling is more, you know, so, and, and also there's, there are simple things like, you know, uh, Boobs or legs, not boobs and legs, because it just looks a bit trashy. And I know, you know, girls like to kind of go for it, little sequins, get the legs out, high heels, brilliant. But just, you know, an, an extra layer can give you so much more cred and make you just look that little bit cooler. Yeah. And what is this season's must-have piece for men and for women? Um, okay, season's must-have for women, I would say, is 
either a big uh, pillar box red statement coat or a pair of like uh, knee high boots. Because mm. listen, the weather, life in this country at this time of year, you will just thank you. You thank yourself for buying them and they look great and kind of channels that 60 thing. Um, and then for guys, I think a good coat covers a multitude. Because I mean, even if you've just got a strong coat in your wardrobe that you know you can wear uh, if it's cold or if it's rainy or whatever, but actually brings a slightly tailored, sharper look to even the simplest of outfits, you're doing well. Jeans, t shirt, good coat, boom. Doesn't take much thought. I'm going to be snooping in your shopping bags to see what you've been buying. Happy? Yeah, I'm so happy. Trending starts Thursday, October 23rd on Orchie 2.